bless the Lord, guys. Brother Rob here. Why do I feel and I run into many of God's people and they feel, hear me now, disappointed? And how do we take disappointments and turn them into appointments? You know, the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. Sort of like, I'll give you an example. A woman that can't get pregnant. And uh, this isn't for anyone in particular. A woman that can't bear fruit in the natural. She gets disappointed. And it's difficult for her. And it's hard for her that, you know, the Bible does talk about barrenness. Now, there are people that are barren, not in the natural, but in the spiritual. They're not bearing fruit. They're not delivering. They're not inheriting. They're not entering into the things or the, 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 the purposes of God or the plan of God. So I'm going to teach you January 23rd, 9 p.m. live on YouTube. That'll be 9 p.m. East Coast, New York on the promises of God. Because the Bible has some, something to say about this. It said some did not enter into because of unbelief. They didn't enter into the rest. Now, here's one scripture. You know this. Do not become sluggish. Another is do not grow weary in doing good. If you faint not, you will what? You'll reap a harvest in due season. So here's the deal. Hallelujah. No, I'm kidding. You, you, can't, reach, you can't get weary. You can't get weary. Hallelujah. Now, you can lose faith, but if you lose faith and hope, you're in kind of a big problem. So you've got to remain vigilant. You've got to press in. You've got to position yourself. I don't know why I did that before. It was crazy. It was weird. Anyway, I'll see you Monday, 9 p.m. East Coast, New York, on the promises of God. The Lord bless you. Amen.